My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. I'll show you Wilford oh, Brimley. Follow me then. Slash Patrick Stewart. Wilford Patrick Stewart Brimley. Some weird amalgamation of the two. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> Holy crap, that son was booking it. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm, shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. You know, for someone named Whisper, you're really loud, by the way. I'm not sure where that name came from. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Don't immediately pin things on me. It's not my fault. It's not like you people gave me a schedule when I showed up. Please be at the docks at 9 o'clock promptly. Or the training ground, or wherever. Such silliness. Anyway, uh, this game is really pretty now. Uh, everything except for the character models look really great. And I had meant to record Fable a really long time ago, and I started to. I think some people might remember it being on my channel. But... There were issues. Um, issues that actually carried over to this version and made it impossible to record. They have since fixed all of those issues, and now the game records very well. Uh, as far as I can tell, I might end up eating those words eventually. But as far as I know, it should be just fine. What I'm doing right now is collecting apples for a side quest, don't mind me. Um, but like I said... This is the entrance to the Guild Woods. Oh god, Whisper's gonna interrupt us. Hang on, let's drop her off and get this part done. I forgot you <laughs> she talks up a storm. She is oh, so loud. Right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Okay, boss. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Alright. Rising up out on the street. I don't know the words to Eye of the Tiger. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Is it a sword? Oh, no, it's it's just a stick. Okay. Thank you for the stick. Great. Press the th uh, stick, and I'm gonna beat up the thing with a stick. Blah, 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 blah. Flourish parry. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Alright. We can pull them to us by pressing RT. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the Guildwood's entrance while you deal with the problem. 
Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. You mean it hasn't started already? You made me beat up a dummy with a stick. That seems very training oriented. Okay, before we go to the woods, I'm gonna keep talking because there's side quests we can do and yeah. Um, so yeah, I wanted to record this game a really long time ago and I got past the tutorial and then it started lagging and it was really bad. So it didn't really work out. Uh, and I've always meant to come back to it and Fable Anniversary is like the best way to do that. So here we are. And uh, the focus of this playthrough. I have to make an apple pie for the guildmaster at the end of the week. Oh good, I've got apples. How convenient. But I can't find any more red apples. I only need another four. You could have literally gone for a walk and found them. They were like right outside. If you find enough, can you bring them back here? I'll reward you. Oh, that sounds like money. I like money. Money, please. Yes, money. Thanks. Thank you, Sir. Oh, and that's not money at all. Okay, fine. Pie. Whatever. Good. Great. I'm sure that won't spoil in the next ten years. Um, anyway. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, uh, I want to come back to this game. It's one of those childhood classics. I bought Fable and Halo for my Xbox as the two first games I ever got. So, Fable's, like, got a special place in my heart. In my Healy parts. That makes me happy. Um, and I know this game front to back pretty much, except for playing it now on Heroic, there's some things that are different, and I'll go over that when we get to it. I did it in 50 seconds! No one has been right. that! Yeah, well, if it for this side quest, leg, we actually need to... No chance! I'm the fastest guild apprentice by miles! Stand right well, here, arrogant, as it's the farthest sure. distance away from him. We're discussing whether... I yep, yep, yep. And we have to beat right the apprentice's right. record and go to the demon I'm door the in 50 guy. seconds. And rather than have him explain it to us, I figured I'd go ahead and skip through that. So, this is kind of a min-max playthrough. Uh, my strategy is pretty stellar, and it still works on Heroic, just it's less effective because they nerfed a couple aspects of it. But they didn't nerf the most critical spell to my strategy for some reason. So, uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. That's, uh, and, and that's when I'll explain the, the issues with the different control styles and why traditional is optimal and... It's really dumb that they didn't fix two and three with one in mind. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's amazing! I had four seconds left, so maybe I didn't back up, have to back up completely, but I still wanted to uh, get the distance anyway. Um, this is also not the original Fable, this is uh, the Lost Chapters. Um, it contains all the Lost Chapters content, because in the Lost Chapters, if you go upstairs as a, a child, you get this cutscene. no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face? The signs are too strong to ignore, and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? The timing of this cutscene is a little odd because we don't actually figure out what happens to Scythe until way later in the game, like past the ending. Um, and we can actually start collecting books now, which is uh, something we should be doing. We need books. Uh, books and silver keys are the two collectibles in this game. Um, books are only collectible in TLC. The original Fable did only had you collecting silver keys, and um, the books go to something in Bower Stone that we'll dick with later, and it's just an another additional thing I'll probably end up talking about when the time comes. But, I think that's all the side quests done, so let's go ahead and run into the woods and take care of the bug problem. Bug-a-bug-a-bug-a-bug-a-bug. -a -bug -a -bug -a -bug. 
Also, I should be able to edit out most of the loading screens to make this as seamless of a playthrough as possible. Uh, apologies in advance if I skip a couple or forget to do that, but I'll do my best. Die bugs! Die beetles! Ah! Ah! These are heroic mode beetles. They're badasses. But they still die in one hit, and I'm pretty sure if they hit me, they don't do any damage. I don't think any of the heroic mode stuff officially comes into play until, like, way later. Except, uh, you do get less experience in heroic mode from all monsters, which, uh, kind of annoys me a little bit. But it offsets the crazy experience gains you get later from exploiting will, uh, skill, and might potions. Which, I guess, will end up being another thing I have to explain later. Because I need to actually show you them first in order for you to understand Good what, work, they, lad. what they do. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. I already did it. Or you can get an early night. I want to sleep. I'm tired. Whisper woke me up early. It sucked. Uh, leave your childhood behind and begin apprentice training. Yes, I want to be a Jedi. The duel was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flame still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training. And he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercise. The nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin.